In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get more engagement and exposure for the messages and things that you're posting on social media so you can get more interest when it comes to your product, service, or business. So stay tuned. <laughs> My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success faster while most importantly creating a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So when you post something on social media, do you typically see the tumbleweed start rolling by or do you start hearing crickets? And all you really maybe want is for more people to pay attention to your stuff because you have a dang good business, you have a dang good product or service that you know can really help people. You just need a way for people to listen and then take action on what it is that you're offering. Now I know the feeling because I've been in network marketing since 2009 and 90% of my business is built through social media and online. In fact, I've created a seven figure online business because of social media, but trust me, there's a right way to do social media and a wrong way to do social media. And I love sharing the tips that help people do it the right way. Now, it's important to understand the difference between curiosity and resistance. And typically when we're taught how to promote our business on social media, we create a lot of resistance because what we're doing on social media is we're selling. And social media is not the place that we sell. Social media is the place that we actually increase curiosity so that people can, um, they want to learn more, right? So trying to get them, trying to pique their curiosity enough to get them to want to learn more from you. That is the key when it comes to promoting or selling through social media. I recently had a teammate of mine reach out and she was wanting to do a post on social media um, we're coming around the Christmas holidays and she wanted to do a post that would raise a ton of curiosity. Now she's been through my training, so she knew that that's what she needed to do. So she sent me a message on Facebook and she said, hey, I want to post this. Do you think um, this will work or what kind of tweaks should I make? Now I'm going to actually just share that exact message that she sent me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the tweaks and refinements that I suggested that she makes to pique more curiosity and get more people engaging with that post. Okay. So I found the message. It's from my girl, Melanie. She's on my team. And I always share as well. If, if you've been through any of my training, I, sh I share to always be sharing stories and not selling like facts, tell stories, sell, right? So it's always really important to share a story and an experience that people can identify with and attach to. So she sent me over this. She said, Hey, what do you think about this text? She said several years ago, Wayne and I decided that instead of exchanging Christmas presents to each other, we would instead go on a trip best decision ever. And now we spend little on gifts and things and as much as we can on traveling and making memories. So we happen to be in a travel company, but this can really work for any company that you're in. Um, this slideshow contains pics from the last eight years. We looked so young in the beginning. OMG. I can remember every photo like it was yesterday. And so in that post, she included some pictures, which was a really good strategy. And she said, not every trip has gone as planned, but even the misadventures are memories that we treasure because it was time spent together. Um, and then she goes on to including in that post, what's on your travel bucket list? Question mark. What are you waiting for? Question mark. Ask me about my VIP travel club and start making your own memories. It's easier and more, more affordable than you think. And then she has some hashtags in there. Um, so I replied and I thought it was really good, but I thought that there would be a couple of tweaks that she could make to make it even more captivating and less salesy, like ask me about. So what I said to her to change, I said, that's great. Instead of saying, ask me about dot, 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 I said, say something like this year, I discovered a way that we can take these types of vacations for free or very little cost. Anyone else interested in learning my vacation hack? Okay. And then I hashtag perfect Christmas present, right? So it was very curiosity based. And so after I told her to make that edit, she, she replied back to me. She said, edited it. Thanks. I already have one meeting set for Monday. And so that was on a Saturday. I think that she had edited that or it was actually the same day that she had edited that she got that one meeting. So I want to share with you something that I'm going to actually help you with because I get these types of messages all the time. 
And I wanna basically give you something that I know can really help because a lot of you guys might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's really good, but how do I come up with these own ideas for myself? And there's a couple of key elements in these messages that you have to make sure that you have or any social media post that you do that's going to create that curiosity. So forget the Facebook spam, forget the social media spam. You always want to be raising the curiosity bar and sharing stories in all of your posts because people are going to identify with those more than, hey, buy my stuff. It's so amazing. And then putting your company replicated website link, right? That stuff just doesn't work if you're doing it and you're experiencing that it doesn't work, you'll know that I'm, <clears throat> you know where I'm coming from on that. So I wanna include, if you've been following me for a while, you know that in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, along with a good training video, we like to give you a resource to help your results go even further to help you in business, help you go faster, right? So in this episode, what we've put together for you to help you with some of these Facebook posts is I'm gonna actually give you templates that you can use for your next um, five Facebook post ideas for your company, it doesn't matter what company you're in, could be health and wellness, skincare, travel, doesn't matter, uh, whatever it is that you're promoting or sharing, product, service, or business. Uh, but these five Facebook post ideas will help you to get more exposure, leads, and sales for whatever business you're in. And you can go to tanyaliza.com forward slash 42 download, the number 42 download. We'll leave a link in the resource section above or below this video, wherever you're watching this video. Uh, also make sure to leave, if you're watching this video on my blog already, there's a big yellow button below this video that you can click and you can get that uh, resource with five Facebook post ideas to get more engagement and interaction on your content so that you can you know, have more people to talk to you about your product, service, or business. So that's gonna be the freebie and the gift that we give along with this episode. So if you're thinking, I want some ideas like these kinds of posts and I wanna be able to you know, post these and get engagement, get people reaching out. One of the things that you've gotta do, curiosity is big time when you're on social media, putting lifestyle pictures on social media because guys, in network marketing, it doesn't matter what business we're in, what industry we're in, we're all selling the same thing. We're all selling a better lifestyle of some kind. So we're selling some sort of lifestyle. Testimonial pictures, Pictures are really good before and after pictures are really good in a native Facebook post. So I'm gonna give you some really cool ideas of even what images to attach in that freebie to help you get more people reaching out. And then also another good tip is to never leave a link for people to go and buy from you. Now, if you follow any of my online marketing training, I always recommend that you leave a link if you're going to leave a link to your capture form of some kind of value. But if you don't have that set up yet for your business, then what you wanna have is is a call to action for them to reach out to you in a private message. Because if you post a link or you say, hey, go buy my stuff, it becomes really promotional and then people don't take action because they're like, oh, I'm just being sold something. But if you say, hey, if you'd like to learn more about this, send me a private message and I'll share with you what it is that I'm doing. You're gonna get so many more people reaching out to you and taking action. You're gonna know who those people are so you can follow your marketing process properly there. Also, another thing is if you post a link in a Facebook post now, Facebook's algorithm will detect that, they'll think it's promotional, and then they won't give it as much reach. So what that means is not um, as many people will see that post that you post on Facebook that you're friends with. And you want as many people as you can to see that post. So that's gonna be really important. So if you say, hey, send me a private message, that's your call to action. Not only will more people reach out, but you're also gonna have more people see that post because you're following Facebook's algorithm. Now I'll give you a little example of some ideas that you can start doing. I mean, this free gift that we're gonna give away with this episode is gonna give you even more ideas, but here's an idea that I thought was just genius. So there was a girl that I saw on social media that did a video and posted on her Facebook page. And what the video was is, I guess she was in some uh, skincare business, and I don't know what business it was because she was following protocol and not saying the name of her company, but adding a lot of curiosity. But she had, it was so funny, it went viral, it had so many comments and likes. Actually, I, I think Oprah um, actually was the one of the, one of the people over at Oprah, uh, magazine actually commented on the video or shared the video. Now you could imagine how viral this video went. Now this video was her putting on her makeup and her boyfriend at the time or whatever, boyfriend, husband, whatever, was actually narrating the video as 
uh, I think he was applying the makeup or she was applying the makeup and he was narrating it. It was a hilarious video that went viral and all it was is it was superiorly entertaining. So you got all of these people now commenting and sharing and her one video that probably took her five to 10 minutes to do went completely viral, um, got so much um, exposure that even like Oprah.com or one of the, the people over at Oprah shared it and it went even more viral through that network. Now, if that video would have had any promotion like go buy my stuff or go to this link and do this, um, that piece of content on Facebook would not have gone viral at all because it would have been way too promotional. Uh, but because it was entertaining and it was done right and it followed the right formula, so many people commented and shared. And now you can just imagine how many people reach out to this individual now on a daily basis, either saying awesome video, and then she can start the conversation and connect and say, oh my gosh, you know, what, you know, makeup regime do you follow? And you know, she, if she's promoting, skincare or makeup, she will have leads and prospects all day long to talk to about her business products or services. So not promotional, very entertaining, really fun. And I'm gonna give you some of these really cool post type ideas in the freebie that we're giving away on the blog. And you can go to tanyaliza.com forward slash 42 download the number 42 download. We'll, we'll leave a link in the resource section above or below this video wherever you're watching this video uh, Also make sure to leave if you're watching this video on my blog already There's a big yellow button below this video that you can click and you can get that uh, Resource with five Facebook post ideas to get more engagement and interaction on your content So that you can you know have more people to talk to you about your product service or business So did you like this episode of Tanya Eliza TV? I hope you did I hope you got value every single Monday, we post a brand new video with a resource to help your business at TanyaLiza.com and also on my YouTube channel. So consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed and connected. If you like this video, also make sure to drop me a comment below. Let me know what you liked best about this video and make sure to share it if you think this video can help anybody that you know as well. Maybe you have somebody on social media that's doing it not the right way and now you want them to do it the right way, which is most important. We will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.